Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about costume sketching. Because, let's face it, if you're an illustrator or a concept artist, most of your characters are not going to be naked. And a lot of the reference that I've shown on this site so far has been a nude model, or even a classical sculpture. So, if you want to draw realistic figures, odds are they need some costumes. And one of my favorite ways to get reference for costumes is to go to fashion websites. And I especially love a site called The Sartorialist. And this is a site that specializes in street fashion. So it's got a lot of hip new looks that are worn by everyday people. So here I've taken a bunch of different photos all from the website and lined them up into a single Photoshop document. And you can see I even overlaid some guidelines here so all their heads line up and their ankles line up just to make sure they're about the same height because the next step that i do is to take it into my photoshop document make a layer set with a small mask on it and so what this allows me to do is to actually move my reference art through this window so the mask stays in one spot the art inside of it moves back and forth and i can save some space on my document so the whole goal of this is just to get used to drawing clothes. Now I'm going to show you a few different approaches, and they actually line up with some of the foundation drawing techniques I've shown in previous videos. So let's get started. Now I should say that this is sped up footage, so don't worry, I don't draw this quickly. Now this first technique is the gesture technique. So I'm starting with very loose gestural lines, working on one layer, alternating between the brush and the eraser. And then once I have my general proportions in place, I'll start to refine. But ultimately, I'm keeping this very loose and gestural. Because remember, what I'm trying to do here is learn something about the clothing, not necessarily make a beautiful image. So I'll refine a while, and once I've learned enough about this pose, that'll be enough. And the beauty of this kind of sketching is that little mistakes don't really matter. I'm generally not showing this sort of thing to anyone. It's really just helping my visual library, and increasing my understanding of fashion. And because I'm a guy, I don't think too much about women's clothing, so it's really helpful to focus on the gender that you don't see as much, or the fashions that you're not as familiar with. All right, in this next one here, I'm going to try sort of a linear block in. And this is where I start with large angular shapes. And you might remember doing a still life just like this. So this is not really as much of a gesture as it is a breakdown of large shapes into smaller shapes. So I'll block it out and then refine those angles and sort of carve out the form sculpturally. And once again, I'm learning about the clothes she's wearing. So proportions, those are important. Little details, how are things fastened together? What do seams look like? These are all things that I'm concentrating on. Because again, this, not really a finished drawing. But it's what I learn while I draw it that'll help inform the next sci-fi costume that I make. Because it's really amazing how much modern day fashion gets turned into things like fantasy and sci-fi costuming. And really it'll look best if you reference some real world things because it gives people a reference point sort of a way to understand these things that are really pretty foreign. And even though I started with a linear block in, this final bit of refining is going to be a little more gestural. I want to just do some nice contours, erase away the foundation, and finish it off. Now with this next one here, I'm going to do the most difficult and sometimes dangerous technique. And this is a simple contour drawing. So I gave myself a few guides to start with, but basically I'm just looking at the outline and drawing it in. I'm not refining away. I'm essentially jumping straight to the finish. And the reason this is dangerous is because it's really easy to get tied up in little tiny details and to get your proportions wrong. And this is the way that a lot of people try and draw naturally if they're looking at something in a coffee shop maybe and drawing it. But it's really a challenge. I find that working from a gesture is a safer way to get your proportions right. And working this way can end up with some bizarre end results. 
where even if you've got nice little details, something will seem off about the whole character. But if you like drawing this way, great. It's a really great thing to test, even if it's just for practice. So make sure to be practicing costumes. Again, I'd recommend the Sartorialist because it's an awesome resource for this, but really any kind of photo will work. Generally speaking, people are just wearing clothes, so you can find pictures pretty easily. So have fun, and thanks for watching.